Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Play Sonic Generations! On the last video, we just beat Crisis City, and oh man, did it bring up some memories. Some terrible, terrible, awful, terrible, terrible, oh god, oh god, why? <laughs> so yeah, pretty bad memories, but thankfully we don't have to look back at this map again until we start doing the challenges. And thankfully again, we only have to do it once. But for now, let's worry about where we are. Looks very similar to something I've done before. If that isn't a big enough hint, I have already said it's from Unleashed and that it's Rooftop Run. So no big mystery, um, because I've already spoiled it. <laughs> but just for consistency, I'ma call it question mark run. Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Unleashed. Oh wait, no, that's not quite right. Although having said that, it does feel like only yesterday I was saying that. But thankfully that saga of Sonic LPs is over and we've now moved on to the generations. Now it's not hard for me to say that Rooftop Run was actually my favourite day stage in Unleashed. It was easy to do, it was fast, it was interesting, and it was probably the only one I could consistently get S rank on. It was colourful and full of life, and the Generations version takes all that and makes it so much better than it already was, which is kind of difficult to be honest. But the way I see this, because of the way the level is designed, and apparently the level is designed to completely crush me, uh, the level is designed as a city, so in my eyes, it's almost like I'm playing the same level in Unleashed, just taking different paths. It's an interesting way to look at things. Just travelling down different streets, and apparently taking a look at things with spikes right in front of my face. It's generally not a good idea. I'm actually going to have to backtrack from what I said in the previous episode. I said that some of the later levels get a little bit lengthy, and although that's true for the particular level I'm thinking of, when I actually think of Rooftop Run, it doesn't take too long. Yes, it is a bit longer than the first few stages, but you kind of expect that since the first few stages are meant to be relatively short to get you used to the game. Having said that, if you're not a big fan of Sonic, I don't know why you're buying an anniversary related game, but hey, you might be starting off here for all I know. Either way, I generally average anywhere between three to four minutes of this stage, purely because there are some bits that take a little bit longer than needed, perhaps. But having said that, I believe the original actually took about three to four minutes anyway, so I guess it's staying true to the original. Oh. Oh, that wasn't good. Probably my only complaint with this stage are those balloons. It requires that you don't homing attack on them. Uh, more like just jump on them. At least I found that's the best way to do it. It's a bit annoying, but hey, just means no S rank for us, which seems to be the norm with these later levels. They are a little bit more difficult than the previous ones. Although a lot of it probably has to do with my recording setup and the Let's Players Curse, as everyone likes to call it. But uh, eh, it's just a bit of bad luck. I will actually take this time to say that the remaining few videos of the Sonic Generations Let's Play will be getting an upgrade into uh, at least 720p due to my new HD PVR. I've actually had it for a while, it's just that I've already had the footage for this recorded for a little bit, so haven't had a chance to uh, get them done because of other duties. What the hell happened there? So you will be seeing Sonic played in lovely HD and I'll be able to record it in lovely HD, which will make it a lot easier to play. You'll be surprised how unnerving it is to play a game in standard def on a HD TV once you're used to 1080p. And here we have a recreation of one of my favourite parts in the Unleashed stage. Not really, it wasn't my favourite, I actually really hated these bits. We've missed a red ring unfortunately, it was to the right just uh, a ways back. But it is cool to see this bit redone, especially since they decided to keep the whole sidestepping mechanic, it works. And in good old Sonic Unleashed tradition, this level keeps its design by having this bit as the final bit before the goal ring. So hopefully we'll get an A rank, we won't be getting our S rank purely because of some stupid balloons. But hey, we've got an A rank and that's good enough for me. Is it good enough for you though? Ooh, I went there.
Well, that's the modern stage of Rooftop Run complete. Now we have to do the good old classic stage. Now this one, again, is fairly lengthy. And by lengthy, I roughly mean about the same length as what we just did. About four minutes. Maybe a little bit more than four minutes. This happens to be one of the better classic stages, and actually, for a lot of people, one of the most enjoyable ones, considering how much you can break it. Although, sadly, I don't have any footage of me doing that, nor the option to, because you actually need a specific power-up to do it. But seriously, if you have a bit of free time, and I would assume you might, considering you're watching a Let's Play by yours truly, search on YouTube something like Sonic Generation's classic rooftop run glitch, and you might get something. It was indeed quite amusing. I might come back and try doing it myself at some point as a little bonus extra. Uh, there's also another bonus I'm thinking of doing, but uh, more about this later. Now this level can actually be quite sneaky when it comes to its alternate paths. You have to jump with some pretty decent timing to take most of them, at least more than other stages have been. Plus, this level seems to like bottomless pits. It's probably one of the only stages I would actually complain about some of the pit locations are probably in this one. Oh, and, and the last stage. That's definitely one of those ones that you get pissed off at because of pits. Oh hey, we just picked up an invincibility, uh, which doesn't happen too often in the classic stages. There's not really that many points to using it. I suppose there are in this case, because there are lots of enemies and spikes around, so if you decide to want to get reckless, then that could work. Ah, oh, we just missed a red ring. Oh well. I've actually been very good in calling them rings and not coins. I uh, kind of got out the habit of that a few episodes back, thankfully. Now this spring here that I just sprung on, that was actually where you can activate the glitch. You need the uh, electric shield to be able to use the double jump ability. I don't think they've patched it in any way. Not that I'm aware of. I mean, it's not like it's game-breaking. Well, it is game-breaking, essentially, but I mean, it's not like it's harming anything. Unless there's, like, a killer bug which, once activated, destroys every save file on anything you ever had, ever. And that's not including... And that's not just including the console you're using, or PC, if you're like that. It's including everything, apart from pits, because I seem to find those no matter where I go. Uh, no matter what I uninstall, no matter what gets corrupted, pits are still there. That was a bit of a long setup, but still, uh, it's the only thing I really have to say about the stage. It's a pretty standard stage, and that was really the only mess up I had. Again, I'll be pretty glad with a A rank. I don't believe there are any achievements for all S ranks. I uh, would have to actually check that. I haven't checked the achievements in absolutely ages. At this point, it's pretty much standard Sonic fare. There's lots of enemies around, lots of pits, and goodies, and spikes, so... Overall, this level is pretty good. Overall, I do think this is one of the better classic stages. The remix of the song is actually pretty good, and I liked the original as well, so that's a good thing. A lot of layouts stay true to the original as well, with the certain ways you can go. Uh, seeming very similar to the original that was used in Unleashed as well. Again, I've played Unleashed so much that I think this level was engraved into my brain. Now, if you remember on Unleashed, there was a section where we climbed up a clock. We are doing the same here, but it seems the clock is a little bit more complex on the outside than it was before. But this time around, we have the added challenge of enemies firing their laser in our general direction. And if we're quick enough, we can make it to a red ring. Now, we're actually pretty close to the ending of this stage, at least. We have a little bit more of the clock to go through, as well as the actual clock face itself. No idea why I stopped there. Probably to think on life, and to think how that laser is getting very close. So yes, we're almost done. We just have to do a bit of interaction with the clock face. Um, by interaction, I mean... DeviantArt. God damn it, that's the second time I've made that joke. Don't do it, man! Don't do it! Now, the gimmick when it comes to the clock face is that we have to get to the center as it is directing us, as you can see. Uh, the only issue is we have to try and avoid all of these mines while taking a ride on the actual hands of the clock. There was a red ring we just missed, unfortunately. And to activate the clock, we need to do a spin dash, which then crashes into the uh, flying... Eggman, Air Balloon, which we then thusly destroy the fuck out of. Ah, 
And that's the end of the level. Let's see how well we did. Of course, we won't be getting an S rank because unfortunately balloons did not like me this time around, but we got an A, which is good enough for me. So let's go and see Rooftop Run in all of its glory. Sonic. You know, I got a hunch someone or something is controlling that monster. Hmm, well, I don't believe that Vector has a new voice actor. Doesn't seem it. Seems to be the same old goofy voice he's always had, so I can't argue there. If you didn't guess in some cases, oh, what I'm made of. Oh man, gonna have to use that at some point. But yeah, if you haven't guessed, I am not too happy with some of the new voice actors. Um but it seems some people disagree with me. Never mind, doesn't matter. It's all about opinions here. I mean, I'm one of those people that personally thinks Tails is one of the most useless characters in the series sometimes. He can have his moments, but there are people out there that absolutely adore Tails, so it's win and lose. But I'm Mega G-Wolf and this has been Let's Play Sonic Generations. I'll see you on the next video. I'm gonna do some uh, shopping so you know exactly where I am next time we start. Oh, I'm preparing for the next level. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need these. Ready? Go! In the Sonic Soft to the Flame Start!